Vikings for Steelers. Le'Veon Bell versus the Vikings front line. Xavier from Rhodes versus Antonio Brown. Who will win? Ben Roethlisberger is Tim Tebow minus Jesus. Yes, the Vikings go play the Pittsburgh Steelers this Sunday at 12 o'clock, and we're going to talk about it today, and we'll talk about who I think is going to win at the very end. So, uh, the Steelers might be the most balanced team in all the NFL. Of course, the two of the the big three on their offense. You have Big Ben, who uh, Hall of Fame quarterback, Le'Veon Bell, the best quarterback right, or the best running back right now, and Antonio Brown, the best wide receiver right now. So, a very hard to cover uh, trio on offense, but I think our defense can handle it. Xavier Rhodes matches up very well on Antonio Brown, and if we want to uh, change up the coverage, we can double him. Uh, Harrison Smith, terrific. And the biggest thing, again, is going to be pressure, so he doesn't have chance. Uh, Big Ben doesn't have chance to go through his third and fourth reads, and we can get those sacks, hurries, hits, all those good things from our front seven. Uh, so it'll be a big game. Hopefully, Daniel Hunter can get his first sack of the season, and I think our defense will do a very good job matching up against the Steelers' studs. Now, defensively for the Steelers, a lot of depth, kind of like the Vikings. Um, you're going to talk about Watt, the rookie, the brother of JJ. TJ looked very good, but it was against the Browns week one. That's going to be my big thing here, is the Vikings came up, up a big win versus Saints. Yeah, it's the Saints. Their defense sucks. We know that. But the Steelers beat the Browns, and everybody's going crazy. So, yeah, you can have it either way, NFL Network. Uh, so, I think if the... I don't think TJ Watson looked nearly as good against us. I thought our offensive line looked terrific versus Saints, but again, it's the Saints defense. But Cameron Jordan's a stud. And he's one of the few players on the defense that's actually legit pretty good. So the fact that we pretty much neutralized him really shows that our, de our offensive line can really put it together when need be. Now, the Steelers, of course, have a ton more weapons if for getting after the quarterback than the Saints can dream of. But the fact that our line played so good last week, I think their confidence is very, very high. So I think that will help the Vikings a long ways in neutralizing their pass rush, giving Bradford all the time in the world, and take a, a take two performance after week one and watch our passing game perform exceptionally. So running the ball, I think, seems to be the biggest key again. Dalvin Cook exploded in the NFL with 100, uh, 127 yards. So it's going to be a lot of fun seeing if Dalvin can do that performance again. I'm going to see we're going to see, we're going to see a lot more Murray this week. I don't know if uh, he just didn't have enough practice in, so he didn't only play him the two plays last week. And plus, when your first carry is a fumble, Zimmer is going to yank that chain immediately. But I think the fact that we're going to <clears throat> we have a really good running back group, better than I than I think we've had in a long time. Yeah, Adrian led the league in rushing for us a few years ago, but I'd rather our team uh, do a lot better yards per carry, get more touchdowns, than just one guy slowly getting two yards a pop, then 160 yarder. I know that looks the same on the stat sheet, but as far as the game goes, a four to six yard run consistently, which what looks like Dalvin Cook's been giving us, and then also giving us the 40 to 60 yard burst when we need it. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch our group running backs go against a very good defense. And I think that's going to be the story of the game. Can our running game, once again, uh, put it together so that we at, uh, control the clock enough. Uh, Sam doesn't have to be a hero because I don't think that's Sam's game. If he can be the number two option on offense, let, let Dalvin the Cook uh, do what he needs. The chef himself uh, do get 100 yards. Maybe Murray gets chipped in 30 to 40 yards. And I think we will very well beat the Steelers at home. But it's at home, so I, I would imagine a lot of networks and stuff would give the Steelers the edge. Because on paper, the Steelers are probably the better team. But I think the Vikings are playing better. And will play better Sunday at noon. Vikings uh, Vikings 31, Steelers 28. Be a close game. Our defense will get challenged. Our offense will have to come through. But I think at the end of the day, the Vikings are hotter than the Steelers. And they'll pull it through. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. We'll see you guys in the next Jero Z Vikings video.